What did we get? Hoffman's ice cream in Spring Lake, New Jersey. What did you get? Pineapple soft Pineapple serve. Pineapple soft serve sherbet with cookie dough ice cream on the bottom. Oh my God. And cookie dough chunks on the top. Mm -hmm. Pineapple and cookie dough, guys. And I just got a little bit of mint chocolate chip with gummy bears because you can't go wrong with that. Outside? Yeah, we can stay outside. Oh, you going in, huh? If you're ever in down the shore, New Jersey, go to Hoffman. So where did we go yesterday? Summer Jam. At MetLife Stadium. A Boogie was headlining it, which we stayed for a little bit, but honestly, we weren't like... The only song I know is the Drowning song, so I was like, if he's not gonna play that, whatever. So we got there. Honestly, I was not used to the crowds. Like, it was kind of overwhelming. It's like you walk in, it's just like, bag, so many people, you know what I'm saying? Of course, where we were seated, we were on floor seats in the front row of the section before like the front row section. So we got pretty good seats and then, our seats were taken because it's like if you're not there early like your seats are gonna get taken so our seats got taken but we wound up like getting near our seats and i stood on top of my seat darian stood on top of his seat it was it was a lot of fun what was your favorite part the jamaican music <laughs> yeah the jamaican music was fucking banging the african music whoever was bumping um that and dmx i i really i really enjoy remy ma as an artist and fat joe came out mm -hmm. <coughs> the locks came out Busta Rhymes came out. Oh shit, I forgot. Busta Rhymes came Little out. Little Kim came out. Little Kim came out. Swiss Beats. Who else was there? Like, we got to. Wu Tang. For not being bored, or oh, Wu Tang came. Uh, not the whole Wu Tang came out. I, quote me if I'm wrong. I think it was Ghostface Killer and Raycon came out. Mm. But I might be wrong because I'm not a Wu Tang fan. Yeah. Fan. For not being born in that generation and getting to see them live was amazing because a lot of people thought that it was just going to be like um, new generation music and it was a pretty, it was like I an old school and they were playing a lot of old hip hop too. Yeah, and it was live. It wasn't like they were rapping over a recording of themselves. They just had the beat playing in the background and then they like rapped over it. Like it was a real live performance. Like you don't see that anymore, you know? So my top performance next to the um next to the dmx tribute which by the way this is actually really good pineapple in this no babe mm -mm. i'm not that adventurous pineapple and cookie dough babe you're out of your mind besides the dmx tribute which they really didn't play like a lot of his music like they played a few songs but yeah they didn't play it because they said dmx doesn't like other people performing his music yeah so, so they just played the features. They they brought out anyone who was featuring his good music. Mm -hmm. Anyone who he liked as a person to play their music. So my top performance personally was the baby. He came out. His introduction was fucking fire. He turned the whole place out. Like he played all his good music. Some songs I didn't even personally know, but um, he came out in the crowd. He was talking to the audience. He like he went in like three different sections. He was a true performer. Like he was dancing on stage, doing his little you know mm, 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 dance or whatever. He was lit. I think my second favorite was seeing Shensia and seeing Rotimi because Rotimi is oh, my Rotimi too. my boo thing. He came out. He took off his shirt. He was doing his little thing. I was winding up on Darian. My winding clock done broke though, but it's okay. That was a lot of fun. And then my ice cream is melting. Yeah, it is whatever um, and then who else did i like oh, i like the migos the migos because they they performed too they were actual performers yeah overall it was a good concert it's a real chair trip it was great honestly <laughs> i wish i could do that every time can i break my toe all the time we gotta bring a band-aid and a, a gauze <laughs> But you actually broke your toe. We'll put it right here in the yeah, video. Yeah, I'm gonna put a picture of it because it was really nasty. Very. Right. Upgraded to like premium class. Darian's taking 
here. Maybe because my Blessings and good morning to our distant relative family. We are back in Portland. Flight last night was excellent. We actually upgraded our seats to premium seats, which Darian has never experienced yet. Um, it was really nice. Um, a lot more space and comfortability after, you know, being in Jersey and just wanting to come home comfortably. So, yeah, now we're, we just got some food. We had acai bowls this morning, and we're on some good energy, good vibrations, going to pick up the doggo from the babysitter, so this should be fun. I'm excited to see her. I'm excited to get home. I've never been excited to say that I'm excited to go back to work, but honestly, like, I'm just ready to get back to, like, our lives and just get back into the swing of things, so all praises that we made it home safe. Okay, so we're pulling in to pick up the doggo. She's gonna freak out when she sees us. I'm gonna freak out when I see her. I can't wait. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. giving you love <laughs> right. you traitor <laughs> and give thanks for watching this entire vlog and we'll see you in the next video